What is up guys, Ed here for Pure Tactical Gaming, playing some more Besiege. Uh, seeing as the last one was uh, taken so well, um, I've decided that I'm going to continue messing around in this game. It's, it is very fun. Now, um, this episode, we are going to be building a uh, baluster, uh, which is a weapon from the Greco-Roman era, uh, which used... Well, it came in varying designs throughout its active life. Um, now, I could just build a simple one with a rocket, but that would be cheating, even though that's what I'm doing now. Um, and then up three... What I'm going to be doing. That's not square! <laughs> so, what I'm actually going to be doing is uh, building one that fires a boulder. Now, you might ask, Ed, how are you going to build one that fires a boulder? And I say, oh, little Timmy. Very easily, in fact. Um, what I need is a inch. E intersection? Why is that intersect? Well, it's meant to. <laughs> Ooh, need to destroy the machine there. Need to get rid of all of this. Actually, work out how big a boulder is. Now. Do I do one up, then a hinge? I probably should get some more angle on it. Beep. And beep. And then beep. One more. Bonk. Here we go. It's looking ballastery already. Right. Um, now I need the spring arms. Um, and so anyway, uh, back to the uh, history of the ballister. It used. It's effectively just like one really, really, really big crossbow. Um, which I know is quite difficult to actually explain, but it's... <laughs> That's what it was, it was just a really big crossbow! Um... Now, to do this... I just need to... Have a starting block with a decoupler on the end of it. Let's take that two back, put that there. Uh, mechanical decoupler there. Then I need to work out a way to manage that. I need to drop it down sufficiently so it doesn't flip onto it. I should do. Hasn't held on the decoupler quite as I like uh, quite as I would have liked it to. Okay, let's try that. And then J. Perfect. Because <laughs> it's a bit of spring. Right, now here's what I'm gonna do with it. Uh, mechanical contractible springs. <laughs> right. Actually, now it looks it like that. Could I technically erase those and throw a double there without it connecting? That still work? Yes, it would. Bing! That sounded like I broke something. <laughs> now, what I intend to do 
bowler there and it clips through springs oh crap J it can clip through springs but that means springs can clip through other things so let's alternate hold points And reinforce in between. Oh, click. Uh, whoops. I uh, accidentally clicked X on my exploit there. So they J and then L. It does not work. <laughs> um. Right. Um. I know for a fact that poles can get quite close to it without any issue. Oh, crap. <laughs> well, the concept has been proved by that. Um, ooh. Instead of just having flat ones, why don't I... I do that. And then oh crap. I've got it duplicating. Just a kind of Choke down the inside area that it can move around in, and then J L. Sort of, right? Getting there. Now, as for holding it in at the top, that is a whole nother beast. And then just for symmetry's sake. Clip my way in. I mean, it went. <laughs> hmm. Let's scrap the ball idea because it's kind of it, it. It works in theory, but not in practice. It seems. But uh, throwing a spike ball in there. Spike ball are fixed. That's why I cannot fit a spike ball in there. A bomb. That's why I can't put a bomb in there. <laughs> okay. Um. Well, I mean, I guess I could just press a key. <laughs> rock it out. I mean, I guess it proves the concept. But, um. 
Oh, the rocket um, found a gap. <laughs> it's rather unfortunate. I need to fill those in. Am I duplicating the X? I am. Right, proof of concept, there we go. Scrap that, uh, set that on the ground. See, I thought this would be easier. <laughs> Let's try getting some more height and making it look interesting. Bink. Then hinge. Now, if I'm if I'm using the rocket, that means oh, I can use I can use pistons to angle. I'm a genius. So now we can actually have actuation in it. Uh, piston. No, oh. it's just more hovering over it. Oh, yeah. Right, play, and then H. Yes, victory. Um, all right, so let's actually throw our rocket in there first. Actually, can I attach the springs to... Oh, no, because it wouldn't decouple. Can I attach decouplers to each side of the rocket? Oh, my, I can. <laughs> <laughs> nice and wide, and then mechanical springs to the decoupler. Actually, those decouplers could. <laughs> LJ! D. <laughs> now I guess I could build it into a cup. No, that won't work. Cause I need the rocket to be inside the cup at the start. No, so I have to build it into a tube. You could, which means I have to. Now, LJT. <laughs> it works. It's all about timing now. Yeah, oh, crap. Oof. Doesn't do much damage, which I find quite funny. <laughs> it came back. <laughs> right. So let's scrap the spring and the coupler idea, because it seems kind of a poor plan, and then let's just make it a tube. <laughs> I've eventually just made the missile launcher again from last episode. Uh, at least it looks different this time. So much on the X. D, D, D. <laughs> Strategy is needed. There we go. And D. <sighs> that did not go well. <laughs> it appears I'm on fire. <laughs> H and then D. Slightly better. Still coming out and going immediately down. I mean, because it's 
change in direction of the block. But, that seems about right. I've been going for about 20 minutes just trying to make this work. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching my uh, failed attempt of making a ballista in, in Besiege. I've been Abu Jarl. Thank you very much for watching.